Hi Leos, welcome here. I am Sally. Let's see what you need to know about this person on your mind. If you're new here on this channel, we heal and we grow together. If you want to be a part of this family, do well to hit that subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber, a special welcome to you. Leos, this is going to be a collective energy. Use your intuition to filter the message. I am always available for personal reading, personal guidance. Information for that is in the description box. So let's see. Wait, what does Leo need to know about their person? What does Leo need to know about their person? The person on their mind. <laughs> what do Leo need to know about this person on their mind? What do my dear Leo need to know about this person on their mind? Mm. you have the devil some of you could be connecting to a capricorn while i was shuffling shuffling the cards i was hearing capricorn in my spirit <clears throat> and look what came out first the devil capricorn energy okay mm -hmm. okay the two of pentacles The two of cups. The king of sword. Ten of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. <clears throat> the lovers. The chariot. The eight of wands. Overall energy, you've got the ace of pentacles. <clears throat> so Leo's this person, they could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have here air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. This person could also be an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but the prominent sign here are Capricorn, Gemini, and Cancer. What do you need to know about them and the connection with them? Hmm. For some of you, You've got a soul tie with this person. I feel a codependent energy here. For some of you, this person could be a narcissist, I feel here. They do have um, narcissistic tendency here, I see. Leo, believe it or not, this is someone that is codependent on you. It might be hard to believe for some of you. They are codependent on you. Your energy is what keeps this person going. I feel like some of you might be feeling like really tired lately. <clears throat> That is because this person is joining you energetically. Your energy, your light is like the fuel at which this it's what it's like the fuel that you know keep this person going. Regardless if the both of you are together or not, they are obsessed. This is someone that is obsessed with you. They are obsessed with you. This person think about you a lot. A whole lot. You are on their mind 247.
for some of you what you need to know about this person this is someone that find it difficult to make up their mind they cannot make a decision and stand by it this person they are always caught between two choices they are always caught between the good and the bad very indecisive person this person is someone that can possibly put you in a limbo waste your time this person is a time waster it is not about the connection with you this is how they are they are time wasters because if you're in a relationship with this kind of person there is you're going to be in this energy of ebb and flow ebb and flow back and forth all the time this person is someone one they could be selfish or not satisfied they are never satisfied with what they have they always feel like there is something more out there there is something better out there for some of you this could be someone that is obsessed with uh, material things okay they like material things a lot and for some of them this could be um sex addiction they have Okay, when it comes to sex, they always want to explore their option. They always want to know what is out there for them. A very flirty person I see here. They have a wandering eyes. I see. They are not satisfied with one man or one woman. This person could be involved with more than just you and another person. It could be you. Another person, another person, and another person. This is not a love triangle. This is like a hexagon or a square situation. Very unstable person I see here. Very unstable. But I feel like when it comes to you, <coughs> excuse me, there is this attraction that they have with you, or this connection that they feel with you, that they haven't feel with anyone else. The two of cups and the lovers. Kind of giving me that energy where for a moment they will stop and think, is it possible that the collective is my soulmate? Is it possible that Leo is my soulmate? What is blocking this person is the devil. Is the devil it is the number of action and movement 15 is reduced to five challenges problem changes hmm. Leo I feel like some of you have given up on this person I see here you have completely stopped trying in regards to the situation you have completely stopped trying, you have given up. So right now, I feel this is someone that they are kind of um, in that energy of what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Some of you, this person could come see you, I see here. They could come see you. The, relation, the relationship that you have this person or you had with them is a connection is a relationship that has the potential to blossom okay into a sustainable relationship a loving union okay but they, they ruined it they ruined it but i tell you this person is obsessing about you you are on their mind 247 i feel this is someone that there is no day or no minute that goes by that you don't cross their mind. You are always on this person's mind. 
The last thing before they go to bed, the first thing when they wake in the morning. While at work, while they are doing their day-to-day -day activities, you're on the mind. And I feel like you are tapping into that energy. You're obsessively thinking about this person as well, and it is draining. It is draining. So there is potential for this person to move towards you in the future. There is potential for this person to, to want to make this relationship work with you in the future. But it's up to you if you would want to deal with them or not. You have the free will to decide that. I said that because I see the two of cups, eight of pentacles, eight of wands. So there is strong indication that this person will be moving towards you in the future or moving this relationship forward with you in the future. The overall energy you have the ace of pentacles, so they will be coming forward to you with an offer. An offer for something serious an offer of a new beginning this could even be like a proposal for some of you let's see what do you need to know about this person why is the devil here why is the devil here you have the ten of cups <laughs> excuse me ten of pentacles and ten of cups Dio. This is definitely someone that won't let you go. Okay, that is one thing you need to know about them. They would not let you go. Giving me this possessive energy, feeling like you belong to them. Giving me this possessive vibe, like you belong to me, we belong together. For some of you, this person could be with someone else right now, or they are building a life with someone else. I see them still coming to you. Leo, you have to use your head with this person. Do not follow your heart when it comes to this person. Use your head. Why is it two of Pentacles here? What do Leo's need to know about this person and the relationship? The King of Cups. Okay. One thing you need to know is that this person is in love with you. But I feel like they're in love with someone else. Okay. They love you and they love someone else. So this is someone that is going back and forth. If they tell you I don't love the other person, it's you I love, it's a lie. They love you and they love the other person. So this is someone that is in love with two people or more multiple people okay like i said before this is someone that is never satisfied with what they have they will keep wanting more it's like a, a desire that never ends a craving that never ends this person i feel like they get their validation from all the attention that they get from people that they are involved with people that they flirt with they like that kind of attention okay getting attention from a b c they, it makes them feel wanted it makes them feel wanted The only way you can deal with this person, Leo, is to starve them of your attention. They hate it. They don't like not feeling important. They don't like not getting attention from someone they are involved with. This is someone that 
Even if you end the relationship with them, yes, they know the both of you are not together. But they would, they already have someone else on the side, okay? So they will not have time to like feel the pain of the connection. They will not have time to heal themselves properly. So they are already in another connection. Like it is an unending cycle. There is no point in time that this person would say, yeah, I am single. I am really, really single with nobody in their life. They always have someone. They always have someone. This could be someone that is scared to be alone. Okay. They have codependency issue. They have sexual addiction. Could be addiction to alcohol as well. As well. They like material things a lot. They like, they like everything that is shining. And glittering this it's someone that like the rich people okay they want to be among they want to belong this is someone that can leave the person they love for someone that is someone they know they can get something from this person their relationships are always transactional beneficial to them if it's not beneficial, there is no point. Or except they just want to be with you. They like you. I'm guessing Libra energy coming through here. <clears throat> Why is it so of course here? What do you need to know about this person? We have the eight of sword this is someone that is scared of emotion they are scared of feelings okay this is someone that i feel like they have switched off their emotions their feelings from a very young age could be someone that has um issues from childhood <clears throat> the environment that you grew up in the, the kind of parents that they have I feel like things have happened to this person where it felt like their parent never understood them or loved them properly. Okay, so some of you, this person could be the first child. I see here, hmm, thank you, spirit. They could be the first child. Hmm. I know first child are always showered with love. But at the point when the second one comes, the the the, the um, first one tends to be like um, kicked to the curb or overlooked. Some parents do that. You know, the, the first child always get the uh, attention, <clears throat> but when they give birth to the second one, um, all the attention goes to the second child. So I feel like that is a situation that's happened to this person where they feel like okay. Daddy is no longer loving me. Mommy is no longer loving me. I'm no longer getting this attention. Okay. I feel it's something from the childhood. I feel here. I'm hearing the name Nathan. It's something from the childhood. So at the point in this person's life, they had to switch off their emotions. They have to switch off their feelings. This person, yeah. In as much as they feel something for you, they are scared. They are worried. This is someone that tends to detach or disconnect when they start having this emotional attachment to someone. They don't like it. They don't like it. They feel like emotions, feelings make them feel helpless and vulnerable and they don't want to be in that position. They don't want to. This could be someone that has seen either one of their parents love the other parents unconditionally and i feel like the, the one the other parent that was in love was mistreated and they don't want to be like that this could be an example where by the mom loved the dad unconditionally and um 
probably the dad was controlling or took advantage of the mom or did a lot of things there is something that's happened that altered this person's life that makes them see emotion they fear emotions they fear feelings so it could be a situation where they feel like i don't want to end up like my mom i don't want to end up like my dad or it could just be a situation where um they were not giving enough attention so they seek attention from people this person could be an attention seeker as well they could do something to get your attention okay this is someone that could just you know stop talking to you ghost you okay create issues just to get your attention they could like drama as well feel this is someone that likes drama as well what's the king of sword here we have the nine of pentacles <laughs> the ten of wands completion so leo i feel like when it comes to this person you are finding your foot and you're feeling very confident okay they kind of feel like you don't really need them or you don't care about them okay I feel like you go to the point where some of you are getting tired or are already tired of this person. BS. There's a ten of pentacles here. You will hear from this person, I tell you. They are missing you. <laughs> they are missing you. So if this is someone that you're still together with, I kind of feel like the relationship is a bit shaky right now. Okay. It's a bit shaky. So they miss you. You will hear from them. Why is the eight of pentacles here? Thank you, spirit. We have the empress. Leo, I feel like regardless of how many women or men this person have, I feel like you are that one person that they know will always humble them. Okay? Like the experience with you, the relationship, the connection they feel with you. It is absolutely different okay they keep coming back okay they keep coming back but this is someone that have a problem with acting right yeah they have a problem with doing the right thing they have a problem with following your heart surrendering to what they feel so this is a very challenging and difficult connection i see some of you could have a child with this person okay but they see you as the empress or the emperor. I feel like Leo. This person, huh? They are that kind of person, like. I'm hearing it hit and run, okay? Hit and this is the one that would smash somebody and um, you can just walk away, okay? They don't really invest in relationships, yeah. They don't really invest emotionally in relationships. But I feel like one thing about your connection with them is that they are kind of emotionally invested in this. And that is what really scares them. Okay, yeah, definitely. You are their empress or the emperor, okay? Level is reduced to two. Hmm. Why is the love right here? You have the Queen of Swords here. Yeah. This is someone that feels like um you two belong together. Okay, they feel like both of you belong together. They 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 feel like. It's you and them. It's you and them. This is the one that is obsessed with you, Leos. Believe me or not, they are super obsessed with you. They are super obsessed with you. And any of you are wondering, yeah, if they are that obsessed with me, why are they not um doing this? Why are they not doing that? For some, for some people, 
you would rather prefer going out just involving themselves with other people because they don't want to make you feel like you mean to them or you're special to them they try to use other people to replace you so in as, in as much as you're on their mind you're in their head two for seven they are busy they are busy with other connections they are busy with other relationships <laughs> they will go on a date with someone else and they will be picturing themselves they'll be picturing you as that person They are living life with you. As other, they are living um, life with other people as though they are living life with you. So if you feel like I, they are not reaching out to me, they have not spoken to me. This person, they are busy living life with you. They are busy living life with other people, but assuming it is you. They take a, a girl on a date or they go out on a date with a man. And in their mind, they assume they are going out on a date with you all uh, the period, the time of the date. It is you they are imagining that. It is you they are envisioning that. That way, it reduces the pull. It reduces that, um, that eagerness to reach out to you because they feel like they are living life with you. And once they realize this person cannot be you, that relationship begins to crumble. They move to someone else. And you see that is why sometimes it takes them very long to return or to come back. Because they are busy looking for you and other people. Why is the chariot here? The six of pentacles. Mm. Leo, I feel this is someone that is contemplating giving you something or offering you something, okay, or assisting with something. Mm. This could be assisting with car payment, assisting with rent. I see here. Yeah, definitely. Thinking of doing something nice for you. Why is the eight of ones here? The page of cups yeah told you they will reach out to you they will reach out to you if you have not heard from them and if you're already hearing from them that you have a relationship with them and this is someone that could be planning something nice for you like a dinner a mini vacation or vacation where the both of you can spend time together i see here i mean um leo we are in new seasons so we are your season, so um this person might be planning something for like a surprise, a birthday surprise for you. I see. Or well, I'm planning something for your birthday for you. This could be them, you know, writing their birthday message, like composing their birthday message. Or they could have a journal that they write. Okay. And they are thinking of sending it to you on your birthday. Yeah, this is them like just pouring their heart out. Okay. In a letter, an email, or a message. Or oh, this is them thinking of um how to celebrate your birthday or, or what to say to you or what a message to send to you on the birthday. Okay. But it's good to be them thinking of a gift that they would give to you. Why is the Ace of Pentacles? What do you need to know about this person? Yeah, definitely. This does. <laughs> this definitely clarifies it for me. Mm. They're thinking of offering you something here. This could be just to appreciate you or to get you back, okay? Leo, regardless of the situation with you and this person, be it good or bad, okay, for some of you, I feel this is someone that 
No, they've left some bitter taste in your mouth. I feel here. Okay. And you're not completely innocent. Okay, it could be you've done something to this person as well. Either saying something on them. Or maybe hurting their feelings or cheated on them as well. Okay. But this is someone that can never say anything bad about you. Okay. For some of you. They don't have anything bad about you to say. If they do, they are just lying. Or they just want to make you look bad. But in their heart of heart, they know they don't have anything on you. This could be someone that probably they feel out of love at some point. Okay. Could be someone that they have a wandering eyes. They cannot be with just one person. Could be someone that is struggling with addiction. Okay. It could be someone that is struggling for with staying out of trouble. For some of you, I, I saw the um, justice card while I was clarifying. Is it the king of? Is it the two of pentacles? So I feel like for some of you, this person, they have a hard time staying away from trouble. They have a very long rap sheet with the law. Okay, could be something like drinking and driving thefts. You know. Um, a whole lot of things, okay. All right, Leos, this is all I have for you. Thank you for stopping by. You would like a personal reading, a personal guidance on your own situation, as this is for the collective's information for that will be in the description. But I'll see you in my next video. Bye and take care.